Hello and welcome. This is Impact Inheritance, a brief pause in your day to journey through the astounding ways all of humanity has influenced and shaped everything you'll experience today. Before we dive in, let's just take a deep breath. In. And out. Now let's explore something that's mysterious, profound, and deeply human. Intuition. Intuition, that gut feeling, that inkling, that sixth sense, that third eye. It's often overlooked in our logical, scientific world, yet it's an essential part of being human. Intuition is like our internal compass, guiding us when the path isn't clear. It's the culmination of our experiences, knowledge, and subconscious understanding. It's a whisper from within that knows the way even when we don't consciously do. I remember one time in Costa Rica, and I just knew where we were when we were on a bus. And I was telling my wife, and I said, I know when we need to get off this bus. She said, how do you know? I don't know. I just know. It's that feeling. You just know. Scientists think intuition might be the brain's way of using pattern recognition to make quick decisions. It's a survival mechanism honed over millennia of human existence. But it's more than that. It comes from this wellspring of creativity and empathy. It allows us to connect with others on a deeper level and see possibilities that just aren't immediately obvious. How can we get better at listening to our intuition? One way is through mindfulness. What you're doing right now is an excellent practice. Just to be present, to listen, to be in the moment, to tune into your own intuitive signals. And when you turn off this audio, give yourself a quiet moment of reflection. It's often the best way to find your intuition. By giving ourselves these quiet moments, we allow the whisper that is intuition to actually be able to be heard. We let it be louder. We let it be clearer because it's often so quiet. So we have to be quiet in order to hear it. As you delve into your own fascinating realm of your intuition, I think it becomes like a hologram. You look into it and there's more to see, even though it may not appear that way when looking at a piece of glass. In a hologram, there's so much more to see. As you delve into your role of intuition being an internal compass. Think about its roots in human survival and human creativity. And think about how you can nurture it through mindfulness, through quiet reflection. Put it in your calendar. Navigate your day and allow yourself to acknowledge and appreciate what the gift of intuition is, whether approaching it from a scientific or spiritual perspective or both. Let it guide you. Let it surprise you. Let it connect you with the world in ways you hadn't expected. And remember that intuition is a part of your inheritance passed down from countless generations before you, further tuned and refined by your own experiences and understanding. And let's take a moment to reflect on this understanding. Think about the nature of intuition. How does it influence the way you perceive your own decisions? And how can creating space in your life to better hear your intuition improve your life? Thank you for journeying through this moment of impact inheritance with me. As you move through your day, remember to appreciate the layers of effort and love that have gone into every corner of our world. Every action you take leaves an imprint an inheritance for yourself and for future generations. You have the power to choose what kind of impact you want to have. And here's to hoping you choose to make it positive, meaningful, considerate, and a little kinder to others and yourself than might initially seem necessary. Until next time.